Rarest Animals on Earth It's not every day we get to come across an animal that is only 2 centimeters in length. A pink grasshopper. Or one that has been around since the time that dinosaurs graced the surface of the Earth. Researchers have estimated that there are about 10 to 14 million different species living on Earth. And these include rare animals, showing us that the animal kingdom is colorful and unique. Stay tuned as we reveal the rarest animals on Earth. Vaquita The vaquita, which was first identified in 1958, is currently the rarest marine mammal on the planet and has faced imminent extinction over the years. Its distinguishing features include prominent gray fins and a distinct dark circle encircling its eyes, allowing for instant recognition. However, when approached, this porpoise swiftly retreats by swimming away. The vaquita's population has seriously declined to approximately 30 individuals due to unfortunate consequences of getting entangled in nets used by illegal fishing activities in the Gulf of California. Regrettably, the vaquita will probably be extinct before most of us have the opportunity to see one of these beautiful creatures. Colombian Dwarf Gecko Have you ever wondered how easy it was to overlook a dwarf gecko measuring a mere 2 centimeters in length, even if it happens to be sitting on your lap? Surprisingly, this species native to Colombia has existed since the era of the dinosaurs and might have coexisted with humans and lemurs when they last shared a common ancestor. While modern civilizations have risen and fallen and countless species have come and gone, the dwarf gecko has silently persisted, evolving and surviving through the ages. It has witnessed the transformations of landscapes and climates, maintaining a delicate balance in its ecological niche. Sadly, it appears that their existence is nearing its end, as they are believed to be mostly extinct, with the occasional and rare sightings being reported. Pink Catadid what you are seeing is the exceedingly uncommon and exceptionally rare insect called the pink katydid. Certain katydids have earned the nickname longhorned grasshoppers due to their elongated and slender physiques. However, in reality, katydids are more closely related to crickets than any variety of grasshopper. Initially identified in 1887, this distinct creature appears only once out of every 500 individuals, making it so rare. They got their name from the melodious song they produce, Katie Did, Katie Did, Katie Did. This unique color is the outcome of a condition known as erythrism, which resembles the recessive gene found in albino animals. Katie Dids are mostly large and leaf shaped, with a green appearance that serves as camouflage against insect consuming predators. But the pink ones do not enjoy the same advantage of camouflage. Blue Lobster. The vast majority of lobsters have a natural and predominant dark brown coloration, but it is fascinating to note that these crustaceans can also come in a diverse array of peculiar and unconventional shades that deviate from the norm. One such remarkable deviation is the rare blue lobster, which sparks curiosity and prompts the question, how truly uncommon is it to chance upon this rare variation? According to the esteemed Lobster Institute, situated at the prestigious University of Maine, the captivating blue coloration exhibited by these lobsters can be attributed by a distinctive genetic defect that disrupts the usual production of pigments, resulting in the excessive generation of a specific protein responsible for creating the striking blue coloration. Surprisingly, the odds of encountering a blue lobster are estimated to be 1 in 2 million. Saola the Saola, while sharing a close kinship with cattle, bears a striking resemblance to deer, showcasing its intriguing blend of characteristics. Often referred to as the Asian Unicorn, this creature owes its nickname to both its scarcity in numbers and rarity in nature. The Saola was officially only discovered in the evergreen forests of Vietnam in 1992. No comprehensive studies have successfully determined the exact population size of the Saola. This lack of information can be attributed to the thick vegetation in its habitat and the difficulty surrounding data collection in such areas. The Saola is endangered because of the loss of its natural habitat and hunting activities driven by local demand for bushmeat and medicinal resources. In fact, due to the scarcity of Saola sightings on trap cameras, researchers assume that there may be no longer any visible herds and viable herds of this species left in existence. The Purple Frog Would you have believed that a frog could exhibit a vibrant purple color? 
Surprisingly, the purple frog defies expectations with its extraordinary coloration, captivating the imagination. Unlike most frogs, this remarkable species spends the majority of its life concealed underground, coming briefly above ground for just a few days each year solely for breeding. Originating from the diverse landscapes of India, the purple frog likely evolved independently for an astounding duration of nearly 100 million years. Despite its recent inclusion in the scientific community, officially described in 2003, the purple frog is already confronted with the looming threat of extinction, primarily due to the ongoing challenges faced by its natural habitats. Cebu Flowerpeckers These birds known as quadricolor or Cebu flowerpeckers were once believed to be extinct as their habitat disappeared in the Cebu Islands of the Philippines. However, in 1992, they re-emerged in a small limestone forest located within central Cebu protected landscape. The name quadricolor derives from the four distinct colors present in the male's plumage, namely blue, red, white, and yellow. These birds exclusively feed on fruit and seeds, a behavior referred to as frugivorous. With only 105 individuals remaining worldwide, considerable efforts are being undertaken to conserve and protect the Cebu flowerpecker. Pink Dolphins The Pink River Dolphin, a captivating and uncommon creature, holds a significant place in South American culture, where it is both revered and feared as a mythical entity. However, in reality, the Pink River Dolphin represents one of two endangered species of freshwater dolphins that inhabit similar areas within the Amazon and Orinoco River basins. These dolphins are relatively scarce and classified as a vulnerable population. Contrary to popular belief, they are not born with their distinct pink coloration, but rather start gray and gradually acquire their pink hue as they mature. The male dolphins exhibit a particularly vibrant shade of pink compared to their female counterparts. Tapanuli orangutan The Tapanuli orangutans are found in the central region of Sumatra and are considered to be the most uncommon among all great apes. By using satellite images and counting their nests, researchers estimate that there are approximately 800 Tapanuli orangutans, with 80% of them residing outside of protected zones. Sadly, this highly intelligent species is facing a critical threat of extinction due to the destruction, deterioration, and division of their forest home. The loss, degradation, and fragmentation of their natural habitat pose significant risks to their survival. Great Bamboo Lemur The Great Bamboo Lemur, as indicated by its name, is the largest among the bamboo lemurs found in Madagascar. Weighing approximately 2.5 kilograms, surprisingly, they believed to be extinct until the late 1980s when a population of around 500 individuals was found in the southeastern region of the island, near Rana Mafana National Park. Unfortunately, this rediscovered group is now critically endangered due to the destruction of its habitat. One specific threat is the cutting of bamboo, which is utilized as a construction material by local communities. This habitat loss jeopardizes the survival of great bamboo lemur population. Sumatran Rhino have you ever wondered why rhinoceros species hold the title for being the smallest of its kind? Well, the answer lies within the Sumatran rhino, a remarkable creature that, along with the Javan rhino, faces an alarming risk of extinction. Sadly, the wild population of these rhinos is in Sumatra, Borneo, and the Malay Peninsula, has been reduced to just an estimate of around 100 individuals. In the past 15 years, attempts to breed these rhinos in captivity have yielded minimal success, with only two females successfully reproducing. Now, if you ever have the opportunity to encounter a Sumatran rhino, you'll easily recognize them by its distinctive feature, a dense covering of long hair. This unique attribute serves multiple purposes, including regulating their body temperature and shielding them from bothersome insects. The Red Wolf Imagine a creature that falls somewhere in size between a gray wolf and a coyote. This extraordinary animal is not only recognized for its shyness, but also for its lifelong commitment to a single mate. We're talking about the red wolf, which is a rare and remarkable species indigenous to the southeastern United States. However, their current habitat is restricted to a small area in eastern North Carolina. The red wolves were reintroduced to the wild in 1987 as part of a bold conservation initiative. 
Despite these efforts, the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, still classifies them as critically endangered. Shockingly, only approximately 40 individuals are believed to be remaining in their natural habitat. The future of these fascinating red wolves hangs in the balance, calling for urgent attention to ensure their survival. If you enjoyed this video, kindly subscribe to our channel for more fascinating and informative content. And as always, stay safe and stay curious. Thank you for watching.